Hey guys, K Pisces here. Um, I just wanted to come on and talk to you a little bit about what's going on and well, first things first, I have an appreciation sale going on for customers, old and new. You can go and purchase your reading and book for any day that's available on the calendar this year and um, get your reading. It's a phone reading. So it's general and love readings. So, to the next. Um, I appreciate you guys. You know, I get a lot of comments on all my videos. I try to answer everybody and if you don't have the capability for me to answer that's the reason why I'm not answering you because for some reason it won't you won't let comments come on to your um, reply. It won't let me reply to your comment. But, <clears throat> excuse me, all that aside it's been a great year um, spiritually, and I don't mean religiously, spiritually I've heightened to an elevation that is almost surprised me too through all these years that I've been doing this. Um, I have a lot of new things coming up. We're going to be doing a lot of different things. Uh, I'm going to get into my mediumship a lot more for you guys to see. I do do medium readings. Um, if someone has a reading with me and they want to hear from somebody, then I do do that because it happens for me. Oh, and I want to say that somebody, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants his name out there. But uh, a person that is on my like page on Facebook, my Facebook like page, he made a comment. He told me that I didn't use cards for one of my readings this month. And I'm going to tell you all this. And I noticed it about myself. I've said it a million times, right, that I don't need the cards, but I use the cards for the audience. But I've been finding myself more and more likely forgetting to use them because by nature, when I'm in front of the camera or I am in a Skype reading, I'm like shuffling just out of habit. Like, like I got cards right here. Like, I'll shuffle just out of habit because I don't know why. I just, I just do. Okay. And so having the cards in my hand doesn't make me do the reading, you know. And sometimes, I mean, like I, I, I said on my Scorpio video that I noticed that I was like four or five minutes in and then I was like, oh, let me do the cards because hell, I forgot. So I don't know if you guys, well, I'm, I'm guessing that you probably prefer me use cards. And I don't mind using them because, I mean, I love the cards. They're fun. I have all kinds of cards, by the way. I have the Normans. I have Gypsies. I have regular tarot cards, I have find a man cards, I have oracle cards, I have all kind of cards, you know. But I use tarot for my videos because it's more baseline for people who are learning. And by the way, oh, for the learning, um, I mean the best person in the business to learn how to do your cards from is Nico from Scarlet Moon or Scarlet Moon Magic. I mean he has classes um, to teach the cards and he is awesome. I don't know if you guys ever saw Nico's um, the practical tarot tutor channel that he had years ago. He is really good. I mean, he gives you fire, air, you know, all that challenge, all that with the cards. I mean, he makes it really easy if you understand. But anyway, I mean, he's a Virgo, so he just lays it out for you and it's really simple. So Nico from Scarlet Moon is the best for that. I, I'm not teaching no cards because I ain't got the patience, child. But, so back to what I was saying. Um, I'm going to start showing my mediumship. I don't know how I'm going to do it exactly, but I'm going to get into it for you guys. Um, I'm also going to be doing some out and about stuff. So, like, um, if you ever saw the video, well, if you ever saw the one video I have of the my interview with Jackie Price, or maybe my interview with the Peace Dealer, I'm not sure which one that I've... Well, I know one of them, or maybe both of them, I talked about the mediumship and my blab that I did. I'm going to be doing a blab, another one, on the 16th of December. I think it's 6 p.m. You have to look. Um, you have to have blab. You have to go through Twitter. So, and it's like, I do free readings on there. And I'll also be having other blabs on and off, probably, because I just feel like it, just for fun, to just do free readings. So, if you guys are privy to blab, because it's pretty new. So you have to go subscribe to me on there so you can get my notifications from our free readings that I do on there. 
Um, <clears throat> so what I'm kind of doing next year is going to be a lot of new things um, that I'm going to be doing because I'm being pushed spiritually to do more and more and more. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, there's a lot of things that are turning on in me and really just going to another level and I feel like I need to share them. I had someone leave like, another comment asking me to do um, to help with the intuitive. I know I have the clarity by K Pisces but um, I'm going to be making videos on that and the twin flame. People were asking me my, my opinion about twin flames and I have a whole other understanding about that so I'm going to be getting into that as well. But I'm going to take you out like when I go to stores and stuff like that and tell you what is going on and like what do you how do you notice something about your intuition what's going on because this has been a long journey for me I mean I've been this way since I was a child so for me it's I understand it better now obviously <laughs> I mean I should right but I want to help you guys who don't understand what's going on and to get this recognize what's going on is what I'm trying to say so anyway I'm rambling like a mofo welcome to Mars and Gemini so um, astrology isn't a big thing in my readings but more and more I mean I live and breathe it so it is what it is astrology is life mm. so I try to make this video real quick because I'm supposed to be on TMZ again today um, to producers at TMZ um, always reach out to me and want me to come on the show. Um, for those of you who have seen me on TMZ, um, the, I've been there. I've been on more than a couple times. So the those of you who see me on there and support me on that, thank you, cool, whatever, you know, that's all that. And my West Coast friends who like, hey, I see you on TV. Yeah, it's cool, whatever. But um, there's more of that coming. So it's a lot going on next year for me. And um, I appreciate you guys' support and your love and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's talk about comments. So the comments, okay, I approve my comments because ain't nobody gonna come on my thing and talk no BS. But the only comments I ever really get that are like, I'm not even gonna say they're negative, is about me cussing. Well, this ain't the PBS channel. This ain't Sesame Streets. Okay. If you don't want her cussing, you go over to one of them G-rated channels because my channel is about love and relationships. So it's love, sex, lies, betrayal. And anybody talking about love, sex, lies, betrayal is going to cuss. I'm sorry because it'll take you all the way there. Anyway, you guys, um, I appreciate your support. Next year is going to be really big and it's going to be a lot of things going on and you'll see a lot of new things going on with me because I walk the walk, honey. I don't just talk talks. I walk walks and so we're gonna be doing that so let me just throw you into a reading let's do <clears throat> a reading for all 12 signs about let's see what should we do oh I know I always do the overview for next year and those of you looking for time stamps somebody else will do it cuz I can't, <laughs> I can't I'm sorry let's do it so overview for next year let's just do that <clears throat> for all 12 signs. And obviously, this doesn't, you know, I mean, you can always change your reading, but let's just do this. Capricorn. Lord. And I'm going to be on TMZ again today, guys. Um, Check your local listings. Anyway, Capricorn. Five of Cups reversed. So Five of Cups reversed telling me you coming out of a funk, honey. And you need to come up out that funk. Because ain't no sense in wallowing in self-pity. Whatever you've been going through, I really feel like it's going to be getting better for you in 2016. I mean, look forward to, to it. This is what's up. This is going to happen. Do your thing. Straight up. Aquarius. The Hierophant. The Hierophant is telling me about you guys is either you're going to be changing your your relationships are going to have a big impact on your life next year. I think that um, 
some of you are going to be, okay, I see you moving yourself into a different place. Maybe you're going to be moving and get into a different relationship. But I feel like there's some improvements on the way about that. Capcom Aquarius, Pisces. Oh, Lord. I know so. Ugh. Ace of Wands reversed. Come on, Pisces. Now, well, part of me feels like some of you guys can get into a relationship and just want to stay there. I feel like some of you may have been drifting back and forth about what it is you want to do. And honestly, I feel like this may be the time where you decide to stay put with somebody next year. Ugh. Aries. <laughs> Love it. The Empress. Oh, Aries, child. Hold your ovaries and your nougats. If there's a baby, whoo. But I feel like Aries, you may be working towards comfort next year. I think that you're beginning in this notch of where you're comfortable with where you're going, what you're doing, and who you're with. I feel like if you're in relationships and you have some issues there going on, I feel like you're going to be okay with what's, not okay with what's happening, but I think you'll be able to level this thing out about what it is that's going on with you, okay, next year in your relationships. But, I mean, the Empress, that's comfort, so not bad. Taurus. Five of Swords. Taurus, please, do not make your whole year of about regret. Listen, I want to tell Taurus, don't take all day to make decisions. Make your decisions. I mean, weigh the pros and cons about whatever it is that's going on and just make the decision. Don't draw it out so long because you'll be regretting that you didn't make it faster because somebody's going to jump in front of you. The tower reversed. Gemini, don't hold back. If you're in a situation in which you ain't really interested in whoever it is you're dealing with, or you could be just, ooh, I see you line up a bunch of exes or line up a bunch of people going through, dealing with some of them, slapping some of them, and walking away from others. It's going to be a lot of relationship stuff flying around. I see you just flying around a group of people. Gemini, really. Cancer. <clears throat> Justice reversed. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Just make your damn decisions. I mean, listen. If you're worried about upsetting somebody or whatever the hell's going on with you, don't worry about all of that. Do what you got to do to make yourself happy. Don't hold off on decisions simply because you're worried about what somebody else is going to think. Or what somebody else has to say about what it is that you want. Okay? If you want to be single, be single. If you're dealing with somebody you want to marry them, don't marry them. It don't have to be complicated. Just do what you got to do. Leo. This is Leo. Yeah. Ten of Wands reversed. Leo. I feel like this is saying that you ain't got time for people's bullshit no more. It's the end, okay? I feel like, it, okay, Leo's going to be making a stand for a lot of the things they believe in as far as relationships and their money goes. But I feel like people who have been heavy weight on you are people that's going to get tossed to the side. Kudos to you, Virgo. Seven of Wands, Le Virgo, you're really going to be busy. I feel like you're really going to be busy. And I think that some things you're going to be making out to be a bigger deal than they really are, hence the Virgo. And don't know that y'all talk shit because y'all know this is my Sunday. So I think you're going to be really busy with a lot of different projects, and I think it may affect some of your relationships. So what I want to encourage you guys to do is stay in a relationship. If it's a good one, stay in it and try to get them to understand that you got to do what you got to do. Okay, you got to build yourself up and you got to take care of your money and your whatever's. Okay, and they're going to have to sit by and if they love you, they'll sit there and encourage you and be there for you when it's all over. Somebody who's clashing with your ideas 
or whatever it is that you're doing next year, I ain't got to tell you what to do. Because somebody love you, they're going to stand by you if you're doing right, straight up. Libra. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. So Libra. There could be a lot of people trying to come in and out your life next year. Okay? Um, I want to tell you right now, don't commit yourself to somebody unless they commit themselves to you. Do not put up with their shits. Okay? Also, with some of you other Libras, I feel like you may be starting some stuff and not finishing it. And that can be the bane of being an air sign. But, um... If you're going to do something, do it. You know, don't write in, I'm going to do this, and then don't do it. Because you look like a flake. And nobody likes a flake. Knight of Wands. He's, a, he's kind of flaky sometimes. He comes in and out. He don't do what he got to do. He don't do, you know, he just, he run in real quick. He can leave stuff, drop stuff, lose stuff. You know, he just don't. He's not like Knight of Pentacles, you know, who comes in slowly, checks his surroundings, looks what's up. Not at once is coming in because he got something to do and he want to do it right now. And a lot of things, and, and think before you act too with this not at once. Think before you act. Because if you go in too fast, fools rush in. Check it out before you do that. Okay, Libra, Scorpio. Page of Swords reverse. Now, <clears throat> Scorpio. If something don't sound right, it ain't right. Okay? If something don't sound right, it ain't right. Okay? I feel like there's a lot of conversations going to be going on. And I feel like you're going to be getting that little that little feeling that something ain't right. Trust it. Trust it. Okay? You may have some people that may be um, going back on promises. But it's not that they're going back on their promise. Because I feel like some of you may already know or had a red flag, there's some shit saying right, and then you just ride over it like a speed bump, like ain't nothing wrong, and then you find out that the sign in the road said that in, and you rode over the speed bump anyway. No, when you come to that damn sign, you stop and you look and you listen. Child. But you can turn it around. <clears throat> Sagittarius is the last one. Sagittarius is uh, coming up here. Two of Pentacles reverse. So two of Pentacles reverse. Oh, child, listen. Okay, I feel like love and money might mix with you next year. Um, just like I told the other side, if somebody is not doing what they need to do to get in your good graces or they're blocking you, what you got to do financially, fools rush in like I just told Libra. Pay attention to where your money is going. Because if your money is going the wrong direction, your relationship is going to go to shit. All right? So pay attention to what the hell it is that's going on with you. If you got to drop some things in order to have your stability, and I don't mean a person, I mean whatever the hell is really going on, then you got to do what you got to do. But don't get overwhelmed and not finish what it is that you're supposed to do. All right, guys. Hey Pisces, thank you so much for listening. See you guys in 2016.